Hi, uh, this is a revisit of the EcoSmart 27 Eco model water heater. Uh, let's see, I've had this thing a little over five years, going on six years now. So I thought I'd just do a quick little video as a follow up to talk a little bit about my experience with it. Honestly, it'll be a short video because uh, I haven't really had to do anything with this. It has been pretty much completely maintenance free. Uh, it has never failed me other than one time. And uh, we had a real bad thunderstorm, power outage, power comes back up, and then I notice, huh, my hot water heater's not working anymore. So I was a little worried. I was hoping nothing, it, and it was fried. Um, you know, I probably should have taken this part. Th this actually comes off here. First thing I did was, you know, shut the power off to it, open it up. Uh, I was kind of hoping that the CPU, the, the motherboard in it, was not fried. But uh, if you take off this plastic cover plate here um, that houses the little LED and the, kind of the brains, the little circuit board brains of the unit, when you pop that off, there's a, there's a fuse and the fuse powers just the electronics or uh, not not the big 240 I mean it's all 240 volt but the uh, j just to power the CPU they they put a little uh, a separate fuse in it and thankfully that's all it was check the fuse fuse was blown I had to reorder replacement fuses uh, it required a particular fuse a fast acting fuse um, I'll link it in the YouTube notes below um, the part number I use. Now this was for the Eco 27 watt, 27 kilowatt model. So it might be different for the different sizes. But um, they actually have them right on Amazon. Uh, it popped in a new fuse, instantly came right up. No other work than just a fuse replacement. That's the only time I've had to do any sort of maintenance on this thing since I've got it. Uh, it's worked perfectly. Um, you know, I saw someone in the comments said that 112 degrees or something wasn't hot enough. Well, you, this thing maxes out at 140, so you can get it as well hotter than you need. Although I usually, I typically go around one, like 115 for me is plenty in Fahrenheit. I think the the Department of Energy says what do they recommend? 118 something like that. I think not to go over 118 or 120 is the max. So I don't know how hot you really need it, but I've found 115 is plenty hot for me. Um, so that that's about it, really. Uh, electricity usage. Um, it's a little hard for me to track because you know, I had a, a standard electric tank water heater prior to this unit. And when I moved to the on-demand unit, I, I switched out a few appliances at the same time, energy-saving ones, not just this. I, I replaced the air conditioning and heating with a, a split pump unit. So the only bad part about doing that all at once is I really didn't get to see, you know, it wasn't obvious to me the savings, if any, from moving from a tank unit to this. Uh, so, but I would say don't plan on it saving any electricity over a standard tank heater. Now, it might depend on your usage, too. Uh, there's only two people here in the house, um, so we don't use a ton of water. And I didn't see the bill go up, but I didn't see a huge drop. I mean, at least not that I could attribute to this. Um, so, and if you, if you have a gas water heater I would not recommend switching to an electric it'll cost you more most places in the country electricity is costing more even with a really efficient unit like this electricity is going to cost you more over a tank unit so now there are other benefits of course which I talked about in the previous video like unlimited hot water I mean as long as you can pump 27 well it's not always 27 kilowatts the, the electricity usage varies depending on the incoming water temperature and the demand but basically you don't run out of hot water as long as you have electricity you have hot water it's not like if you have a family of five or something and the you're running the water tank empty that's not a concern here which is is nice and it's you know it's easy to get at it doesn't take up much room so 
but I just wanted to talk a little bit about it since I've had it for going on six years now and have had no issues. Uh, I've noticed some people in the comments have, uh, if you don't have good clean water, you can get some scale buildup on the, the heater units. These are act the heater units on top there, they're actually replaceable. You can cut, you know, disconnect the power and they unscrew and pull right out and you even go to like Home Depot and get replacement uh, heater units for it. But mine have been going strong. I haven't noticed any loss of heat, nothing like that. Now I do have treated water. So my water is really clean, fully, you know, goes through bunches of filters, salt tank, I have the, the works. So my water is really clean, so I've never really had to worry about any buildup, but I've heard if you don't have clean, clean water, you can get some scale building up in there that can, that needs to either be cleaned out or heating units might need to be replaced. But other than that, yeah, it's it's been rock solid for me. So I just wanted to comment a little bit about it and hope this has helped.